Exciting all the tournaments that happen in the local scene at youtube.com slash Vista. So here we go, Battlefield. Game number one, Omega versus MVP. Again, these are players that we're familiar with if you were watching a little bit earlier on throughout the bracket. We're deciding who the loser sides of these top 32 players are going to be. Now, just as a reminder for folks, MVP is the player who put Skyza in losers earlier on. Mm -hmm. So, like, gotta wonder how he's finding himself here. And Omega also played really well earlier. So, we're, we're, we're destined for a good fight one way or another, but we also know that both of these guys are ready to just slug where it's needed. MVP had a very dangerous combo game, and Omega saw every opportunity to break the pressure away and constantly put up the heavy hits, which yeah. Bowser's got plenty of. And early on in the bracket, it was Beast that sent MVP down to the loser's side. I, 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 I misspoke a little bit earlier, about half an hour ago, when I said that if you lose in the, that qualifiers match, you're guaranteed top 32, I was incorrect. It sends you into this part of the bracket. So you're not in the woods just that you have to win this side of the bracket now to find out our final uh, top 32 competitors of Wave A. Wave B is going to be starting soon, though, so we got even a host of new competitors coming soon to a theater to you. So there we go. Back throw, going to be able to toss him off stage. Bowser being the heaviest character in the game doesn't even, you know, he's used to being thrown like that by Mario, you know? Remember Super Mario 64? Okay. I don't remember that move. Nah, that, that was a bit different. Yeah, that, that, that was a little slightly different. Goes for that down B. He that was sick. also kind of different. Yo, he just wants to keep the princess, man. Leave him alone. He just wants to talk. He just wants to talk, man. He also wants to marry her, but like, you know, unwillingly. But okay, there we go. Two stocks apiece. Respect consent. I think this is why Mario is just straight duffing. Like, he is, dude. He's sick of this nonsense. Oh, nice. I like that back here because he did so close to the ground allowed him to get oh, some big follow-ups, and he wanted that forward air. I feel like that's, that's another thing. That just courses through the veins of the character mm -hmm. players. Like, if you're a Mario, you know you want it. You know you want that up air to forward air. There we go. Again, onto the top platform. Bowser trying to finish. It's almost classic that we're seeing Mario versus Bowser, you know? It you is. Know, this is vintage. We never see this anymore. So it, 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 it's so I pay an homage to Omega versus MVP here, you know? There we go. We see a little bit of jumps happening from MVP, trying to bait out some options from Omega, but he's going to call out that spot dodge with up. He had a shield, a really good option for pretty much anything uh, if you're next to Bowser. But hold on a sec. He won the top platform. He probably wasn't going to be able to get the kill off of that, so it's okay. Catches the up tilt. Great anti air compared to Mario. Catches him rolling. Yet another up tilt. And honestly, with the new buff to the tilt system in Ultimate, where you can actually tilt out of a dash, that has increased Bowser's viability, in my opinion. To be able to just up tilt out of a dash is so strong. <gasps> nice Hold kill up. front. Wait. Oh, no. He had his double jump. Good edge guard. Fantastic edge guard from MVP. He turned him around. For a moment, I thought he, he had exhausted his life got his flipped jump. up, turned upside down, honestly. Okay, MVP. Going to shield through that up B out of shield. There oh. we go again. Fantastic parry coming from Omega. Remix. Yeah, honestly. And when you get a parry like that, you have access to all of your tilts and smash attacks as well. So sometimes it might be better just like hit him with like an up tilt. But you know what? He got it. He, he, he wanted it and he got it. He said he, he wanted it so bad that entire game. He was like looking for the setup the whole time. Managed to finally find its mark with these up airs. Let's watch this again in, the, in an instant replay. Off that back air, calls out. The reason he went for it that time is because he recognized that Omega was actually at a double jump. So able to connect that forward air. Easy, squeezy. Uh, you almost got it. I almost got it. Hey, <laughs> they looked at each other. You saw that? That was like a, that was like a lovers staring into <laughs> each other's eyes. But in actuality, that was MVP recognizing his final moment. And Omega was like, oh. I mean, Helper tried. He tried. There we Lighting go. Lighting only strikes once, man. We, we, we give it our best <laughs> shot with that replay. I'm sorry. It's the best I could do. It's fine. So we got uh, next game coming up, uh, MVP up 1-0. to zero And um, what you doing oh, there? Oh, hold on. What, what you doing there? <laughs> yeah, going back to Bowser. You saw he was highlighting it. <laughs> giving you a little spook, man. More me's than you can count. <laughs> More me's than you ever wanted to see in your career. So we got PS2 coming up to VAT for game number two. And this is actually a pretty okay stage for Bowser, right? Because if he managed to connect to side B, he's almost guaranteed to land on a platform compared to like, I mean, honestly, the battlefield was the same way, but now he's got some more running room to be able to just try to like get away from Mario if ever feels like a little bit pressured, right? Yeah, I think this is actually a great stage pick. And at the same count, I feel like MVP is going to have to work a bit harder just to establish the stage control just because there's so much landing space now for Omega. No matter if a situation goes sour, he's got so many ways that he can at least try to bring things back to an even, if not turn the situation. You saw Omega going for the double jump that high in the air because he knew MVP was looking for a follow-up, so he wanted to escape from his clutches by trying to go vertical. 
Now MVP catches, gets a little bit of a snipe with that fireball. Almost got the kill afterwards, runs back up again with a, yet another up tilt. And Omega's got to stop these down airs, man, because they're getting heavily punished by MVP. Man, that was what was killing him in the previous set that we saw on stream, and now it's going to be what's killing him in this set. Okay, splash him a bit, giving Bowser a little bit of a shower. He probably smells like Koopa, so I get, I'm sure he appreciates it. Onto the platform, not enough to get the kill just yet. He managed to catch that side B one more time. Oh, yeah, he knows. So MVP is going to be on the lookout for that move. Can't, you gotta watch holding your shield button. Nice spot dodge, saw this IB coming on. out. Oh, wasn't able to turn himself around in that, but still plenty of damage. MVP got tons of momentum as we're rolling through this. And he's honestly rolling with the punches very well against Omega. So we got some more fireballs. Trying to play this game again. Another down air, another punish from MVP. Oh. Sees him flying right there, gets the spike, gets the forward air. His punch, you know, there we go. Well, Omega said, hey, it looks like a good idea. Let me try that out. Uh, yeah, honestly, you know, monkey see, monkey do. But the thing is, it's two stocks to one. I like the patience, but fantastic carry from Omega. Just going for the up ass shield again. Since I'm flying with that fl uh, flare, flamethrower. Fire breath. It's just fire, but man, it's he's just no fire, Pokemon. Man. It's actually just called fire. I'm, over, I'm over, overthinking things. He's, he's breathing. Okay, there's a, a, speaking of breathing, he can't. Man, you saw him air dodge right on top of him. Gets the up B, has the force smash ready to go because he arches backwards. MVP is going to take that set pretty solidly in a 2-0 fashion. Going to move on into the top 32 loser side. Your boy Omega going down with a 33rd place finish. Laid to rest pretty easily there. MVP yeah. had a ton of fun with that one. It was all putting on a that, show. All you need is that little Hadouken, right? That's all Mario needs. It's I told you it was Ryu. Uh. Watch one more time here. Sends him off. Tries the up B. Look, he's just, just put him down. To go. Yeah. And there it was. And that's all she wrote, man. There is like a dance party going on next yeah, to I us. Yeah, I think it's I like they, they're putting bumping tunes. We're going to have to nuke the VODs, maybe. It's definitely gaming tunes, man. It's, it, I, these I, are, the, the gamers have risen up and have attached yeah. their MP3 players. 100%, to man. We might have to uh, throw some, uh, some arms oh. coming your way. Arms is nice, bro. I'm with Coney on that. Arms is nice. I love arms. Arms is great. I have mean, you played arms recently? I, I played it.